So welcome to this video on um, Venn diagrams. So in this particular video, we're just going to look at Venn diagrams and not at any probability. So if you're already comfortable with Venn diagrams, you can skip ahead to the next video in the playlist. Um, but if you want a quick recap, it's going to be less than five minutes just going through the basics of Venn diagrams, right? So Venn diagrams generally have a box and you have a few circles uh, drawn in. So in this case, U is the universe, which is everything in the bounding box. This is sort of everything in the question. A and B are the two circles labeled. They're two different sets. So each set has its own kind of certain amount of stuff in them. And some of the stuff may overlap. Okay, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. Um, next thing we have to look at is the union. So again, U, A, B, it's always the same box. So A, U, B is A union B, and that means everything they have when they're joined together. So everything in the shaded region, that's A union B. Okay, so it's um, the bit in just A, the bit in A and B, and the bit in just B, all right? So that's A union B. Next bit is um, intersect B. So again, it's A, B, U, uh, everything in the universe. So A union B, so this looks like a kind of an upside down U, or almost like an N, um, and that means A intersect B. And that's everything that's in A and B, or everything in the overlap. So you need to know those two symbols, the sort of U and the sort of N. Uh, I'll go to the next one is the complement. So um, A kind of apostrophe is complement A, or A complement, and that's everything that is not in A. Okay, So you see the green circle of A, and everything else is shaded in, and that's A complement. So um, people get a little bit confused there sometimes. It's including everything in the kind of bounding box. Everything in U is an A complement. Um, B minus A, so B backslash A, and um, that's the same thing as saying B minus A, and that's everything that's in B, but that isn't in A. So again, this is a shaded yellow region, so it's the stuff that's in B, but not the stuff that's in B and A. Okay, so some of the, some of the stuff in this region here, where I'm coloring with the blue, um, some of that stuff is in B as well, but since it's in A, it's not in B minus A. Okay, and then the last one we're going to look at is the cardinal number, so it's just hashtag A or hashtag B. And it's the number of items that are in that set. Okay, so they're, they're all the symbols, uh, what they mean. Now we're going to look at a quick example. It'll take just two minutes. Uh, no, nope, let's go across more. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That should be it. Um, and I'll go down a little bit. So I'm going to do this in red. So here we have our box. We have our set A and B. Uh, so there's 10 altogether, 10 items in it in U. Uh, a has one, two, three, four, five, six in it, and then B has five, six, seven, eight, nine in it. Okay, and um, so the first question is to fill it in. So I'm gonna st you start always by filling in the um, the intersect. So what's what what both of them have in common? So in this case, that's five and six. So I'm gonna draw a little dot, five, a little dot, six, um, and then in A, I'm gonna do one, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna do dot one, dot two, dot three, and dot four. And then B has seven, eight, and nine. So dot seven, dot eight, and dot nine. Okay, so that's the first one filled in. And um, now we're gonna do a uh, intersect B. So that's just, and you kind of draw these squiggly brackets. Um, yeah, that indicates the set of A intersect B. Next, a union B. So this is gonna be everything in both of them. So again, squiggly brackets. One, two, three four, five, six, so that's everything that's in A, and we don't count five and six again, so we just go on and we say seven, eight, nine. And I've just realized I've made a small little mistake, um, so because it says U10, um, and I only have nine things in here, so we're supposed to put a little dot here, and 10 in the union, okay? So this thing out here is, it's in the universe, sorry, not in the union, in the universe, but it's not in A or B. So the number 10. Um, so again, A union B is everything that's in A and B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, complement A then is if we go back, I'm not gonna go back to the shading, but it's everything that's outside of A. And um, so in this case, that's gonna be seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, because this stuff is it's in the universe, so it still counts. And one, two, three, four, five, six, they're all in A, so they're not gonna be in this set here. So it's just gonna be seven, eight, nine, and 10. Um, okay, B minus A. So that's everything that's in B, but that's not in A. So in this case, it's going to be seven, eight, and nine. Okay, and 10 isn't in it, because uh, 10 isn't in B. So the last one then is the cardinal number of B. So 
So it's basically how many things are there in B? Uh, and it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so in this case there are five. Um, so that's the basics with Venn diagrams. Uh, we haven't brought any probability into it yet. We're gonna do that in the next video. Um, so it'll just get a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, that's it. And we're gonna look at, yeah, I guess probability in the next video. So if you find this helpful, uh, as always, like and share with your friends. Um, we'll see you next time for probability and Venn diagrams.